So good afternoon to all of you. I I am Saurabh Shivaji Pawar and today topic of my seminar is landmine detection technology through GPR ground penetration radar. So the contents are introduction, literature survey and references. So in introduction, what is basically a landmine? A landmine is an explosive device concealed under the ground designed to destroy an enemy target which is passing over it. Technologies which are used to detect these landmines are known as landmine detection technologies. Now, literature survey. So the first question arises, what is a need to detect landmines? Several countries suffer from millions of buried landmines in their territories. These landmines have indefinite life and still cause horrific personal injury and economic dislocation of targets decades after the war is over. Over 100 million landmines are still buried, approximately covering 3,000 square kilometers worldwide. According to International Campaign to Ban Landmines report that around 1999 to 2008 more than 73 landmine casualties have happened. The example of devastation. Egypt, according to the sources, 22% of Egypt's landmass is access denied because of the area is being contaminated with landmines. These areas are assumed to be containing approximately 4.8 billion barrels of oil and about 13.4 cubic a trillion cubic feet of uh, natural gases and also 3 million hectares of arable and grazing lands. So, next slide is generally most of the landmine detection technology consists of three main units. First one is sensor unit. It, com it captures the signature of landmine. Second unit is signal and image processing unit. To arrange the acquired data from sensors in format suitable for detection. And third unit is decision making unit to decide whether the landmine exists or not. So, GPR technology, which is ground penetration radar. Ground penetration radar detects buried landmines with the help of emitting electromagnetic signals or radio waves of frequency. 250 megahertz to 2.3 gigahertz into ground and then analyzing the returning signals. The transmitter emits a pulse wave or continuous wave with a given frequency. Signals are generated by reflection of the waves at the boundaries of materials with different indexes of refraction. Generally, reflection occurs at discontinuities in the refractive index, such as at the boundary between soil and landmine, which is considered in this case as useful signals and the natural discontinuities in soil, which are known as clutters. The GPR technology consists of small compu computerized signal processing units, which interprets the return signals. The history of GPR. GPR was first used in 1929 to measure the depth of Australian glacier. In 1970, military application began driving researchers' attention. In 1972, the first commercial GPR system was available in market. Since then, the GPR technology has taken a leap in locating buried objects. In 1970, the year itself, Apollo 17 mission to land carried a ground penetration radar on board. The, so the question arises, how does it happen that uh, electromagnetic waves determine whether the landmine is present or not? So you can see the diagram over here. The ground penetration radar is used to collect data, which is an input in the system, which is then produced to reduce the ground effect and noise and to obtain landmine signals. Principal component and Fourier coefficients are 
of the landmine signals are computed, after which using supervised learning methods of machine learning algorithms, it is which are then matched with the features of um, landmines in uh, landmines in its own database. And it is decided whether uh, the landmine and the object present is a landmine or not. So the graph of filtering noise, the first graph is uh, plotted with a raw data and the second graph is plotted after uh, the noise has been reduced from the graphs. So uh, in conclu cl concluding my topic, advantages of GPR. It's ability to detect plastic objects buried in the ground. It can also provide depth about the target's depth. GPR can be made lightweight and easy to operate. It generates an image of mine. Disadvantages of GPR. Natural surface is not, uh, is always hom uh, non-homogeneous, which includes rocks, uh, water pockets, and roots of uh, vegeta uh, vegetation uh, trees. So uh, due to this, it arises, uh, which is a source of false alarm. So the references were two research papers and uh, one book. So thank you. And uh, so any questions on this topic will be welcome. Well, thank you.